the second episode of Book of Boba Fett, titled Tribes of Tatooine, has just has just come out today, and I and I have just finished watching it. So in this video, I'll be giving you guys my my full review of the episode. Now, just really quickly, spoiler warning, because I might not be able to handle myself, and I might spoil something. All right, without either way, let's get started. So, when I was watching this episode, this episode really improves a lot of the things that the first episode did that I didn't find very good. It has much better, ac it has a lot more action this episode. It's much, it has a lot of action, it really starts picking up the story. But the first episode was kind of, I guess, a more, f not filler episode, but it was a lot slower paced. This one's also slower paced. But it picks up much better. And it, the story is going much better. Uh, one thing which... I'm not, it not, I'm not sure it bothered many people. It didn't really bother me that much. But it, in the first episode. And it didn't bother me a whole lot in the second episode. But in, the, in this episode. They spend the majority of the episode. Actually, I think the first ten minutes of the episode are in present day and then the rest is all just got or is all in the flashback and it's not that bad like it was actually a lot of fun watching the flashbacks especially in the first episode it, in the first episode it was all right in the second episode it was fun but i just hope that they start picking up in the story and focusing more on the present day instead of continually continually doing more of the past i think just sprinkle in the past flashbacks instead of just making them so massive and take up that much screen time but that's really just a small nitpick it's not that bad um another thing in this episode that kind of annoyed me was how boba was a lot more gentle like he was real nice to the tuscans he wasn't even after they'd enslaved him in the first episode he was real nice to them i mean i know they did set him free and he's just trying to be nice because they set him free and he if he he doesn't have his armor or his weapons so they could just kill him but he still feels quite soft also another major gripe of mine he just takes off the helmet too much. Well, he, when he was interrogating the Nightwind assassin, he just kept taking off his helmet. When he was talking to the mayor, he kept taking off his helmet. And he just always takes off his helmet. I'm fine with him having a face under the helmet, but... It's just annoying how when he's trying to be intimidating, he just keeps taking off the helmet. It just makes him that much less intimidating. But those are really just the, my complaint. Those are just complaints. They're small, little complaints. Nothing that bad. Now time to talk about the good stuff. So this episode introduces quite a lot of things, and it really starts picking up the story. I know I've said this a lot, but it does start to pick the story. Starts to take, starts picking up. It introduces. Um, I'm tr not gonna. Try, I'm gonna try not to spoil this, but it introduces um, another rival to Fett, and it sort of introduces, I guess it introduces this mystery with the Nightwind assassins who attacked him in the first episode, but we think we found out who attacked him, but then when Boba goes to interrogate him, we think we find out something else, and it just leaves us kind of confused, and then it just goes back to the flashbacks and the flashbacks in the past these are a lot of fun this one these flashbacks took place these flashbacks basically all that happened was boba was working with the tuscans to try and stop this train which was transporting things and shooting at the tuscans so he teaches them a bunch of he teaches the tuscans all this thing and they try to stop the train and it was just a pretty action it has quite a bit of action i just really liked it I, I also kind of like the fake-out scene with the Rancor when they're trying to interrogate the Nightwind guy. That that was funny. 
That was pretty funny, actually. The show is quite serious, actually. It takes itself really seriously. There were some moments, like, when he wanted, Bob wanted to talk to the mayor. And there was that receptionist that just, that, like, oh, do you have an appointment? That part was just, I didn't find it funny at all. I was just sitting there, and I was like, can we just get this over with? But aside from that, it was good. It was a good episode. I really liked the episode. Anyway, I hope that the show continues this pace, and so I think it was Robert Rodriguez, but a little while before the show actually came out, he, I think, put up a something on his Twitter or Facebook, I don't actually know what it was, I don't remember, and he said, and he said that this show is all killer, no filler, and he said that the show over delivers, like it over, over delivers. I know we're only two episodes in, so I shouldn't be judging it this hard, but I haven't really seen that yet. I don't think it's over delivering. It's delivering, it's hitting those expectations really well, but it's not over delivering. Anyway, I really hope that they can keep up this pace, and I hope they don't do what the Bad Batch did. So if you all remember the Bad Batch, which came out last year in 2021, started, came out May 4th, 2021, they had 16 episodes, the Bad Batch had 16 episodes to tell the story, quite a lot of those episodes were filler, episode 13, I think it was, Infested, Infested was a filler episode, I think the fifth episode it was, was filler, it's been a while since I've rewatched the show, but yeah, there were quite a lot of filler episodes, it's like they didn't know what to do with that 16 episodes, and they were just pushing out the story. Same thing happened with some other shows. Uh, with some other shows. Falcon and the Winter Soldier came out last year as well. I know it's not Star Wars, but I'm going to still bring it up. No, wait. No, not Falcon. Uh, WandaVision. Nine episodes. They used them pretty well. Uh, WandaVision isn't Star Wars, but I know, I'm just bringing it up. As an example, they used the nine episodes pretty well, but they had some filler episodes in there. So I just hope that this show, they've got seven episodes to tell this story. I think I think it's seven, yeah, seven episodes. Seven episodes to tell the story. So I hope that they just tell the story and they don't do anything, any filler episodes. But yeah, no, that's about it with the episode. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the episode and I'm hoping that they keep up the good work and keep the episodes going keep the episodes engaging and fresh. I'd love to hear what you guys thought of this episode down in the comments below. Tell me any video ideas. Tell, tell me any video ideas in the comments as well. I'll make a video on them eventually. Consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed today if you enjoyed today's video. And I'll catch you guys next time. Remember, the force will be with you. Always.